Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish Evening News Bulletin on Wednesday. Scotland take on the Czech Republic at Hamden Park in the Nations League in just a few hours' time, knowing a victory would put them four points clear at the top of their group. Steve Clark has asked his players to use tonight to make themselves undroppable for next month's Euro 2020 playoff final in Serbia, but he's also very keen to win the group as it has several benefits, including another potential playoff for the 2022 World Cup. The Nations League is a very, very... No matter how people try to knock it down, it's, it's much better than playing friendly matches. It's a competitive competition and it also throws up a chance, another chance, of a playoff route into the, the World Cup in Qatar 2022. So if we can top the section, then we'd have a chance of giving ourselves that safety net again, which is why we're playing Serbia next month. In terms of team selection, a 5-3-2 is expected again. Craig Taylor will come in for the suspended Andy Robertson, whilst Clark is expected to change the midfield up, with Ryan Jack and Cal McGregor in contention to replace the injured John Fleck. Tonight's opponents are without manager Yaroslav Silhavi, who returned a positive COVID test, so he and one player are in self-isolation. They're in good form though, and have won four of their last five away games, and boast Premier League duo Tom Suchek of West Ham and Matej Vidra of Burnley, as well as experienced captain Vladimir Derrida of Hertha Berlin. Kickoff is at 7.45. And Fraser Hornby is now Scotland under-21's all-time top scorer after his hat-trick in a record 7-0 rout of San Marino last night. The result put Scotland in second place, one point off the top of their group with a game in hand, and there are just two games to play. Thank you for watching, and don't forget you can like, share and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter channels, which is where you'll also catch up with the football show's Peter and Ruffy. They will have discussed all of today's stories with the panel and exclusive guests.